Walter doing a really good job. Waltz, you know, making the run. One of the most likable players in the Texas scene. You know, everybody is big fan. Big fans for sure. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. You know, there, there's, 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 if there, there's an area Walter hater in the state of Texas yeah. for sure. There's definitely Mega Man haters, but there's, you know, there's Waltz, but Waltz lovers. Yeah. No, like, no haters. Walt, yeah. And, and you know, I, I, as he is the lone Austin Knight standing, so we'll see, we'll see what he's got up against. Uh, really, the DFW gauntlet now, because everybody, uh, you know, where we got nothing but DFW left outside of Waltz. To no one's surprise, right? Yeah, of course. The, I, yeah, the strongest, best, strongest scene in, in Texas for a reason. Yeah, absolutely. And you know, and the more the more I see these regionals happen, the more it's it's even more obvious. I feel like every time I see it, I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Okay. And right now, yeah. Checks out, yeah. It checks out. It checks out for sure. Atomic, you know, this is going to be kind of a hard matchup that, you know, Waltz, I, I don't know when they've played. I don't know if they've played. I, you could convince me that they have. I couldn't tell you this at record. Yeah. yeah. Either, so. it, it'll be interesting. It'll be interesting too, just because Waltz is the best Meg, the best Mega Man in the state, you know? Yeah. Um, there there are some in, in Dallas, like Pete Crow and yeah, uh, among others. Pete Crow, you, a couple other, a couple others probably. Uh, as well. Capus when she when she pulled out the Mega Man. Yeah, you know? yeah. Capus is one of those like I play a million characters. Yeah, right? yeah. She's, so. she, yeah. She's got she's got the you know a five e, a, a main five v five squad track and then a backup five v five squad. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, but right now you know it doesn't matter because you know like you said. Walter is the best Mega Man, so you know, not having as much experience maybe against the best Mega Man, it, uh, he doesn't care though. Yeah, he's like, bro, I'm still good. Man. Yeah. Uh, Walt, Walt, Walt's, uh, Walt's uh, pulling up the the up tilt call out a little bit early there. Uh, Atomic's gonna punish him uh, and take the stock kindly for him. We'll see if he can close it out. Cause that's kind of I think the one big like gaping flaw in, in, in Mega Man's game plan as a character, right? Is sometimes the kills don't come super easy. You know. Yeah, absolutely. You know, Mega Man does a really good job of, of nickel and diming most most characters. But then against a big body like Rob, where you know the backers aren't starting to kill until you know 100 plus, maybe 110 at the ledge. You know, then it becomes sort of a problem, right? Because even though you are a super fighting robot, you're not heavier than Rob, so you're not going to live a lot of the stuff that he's trying to he's trying to look out for. Right. You know? He he will 100% kill you earlier than, than uh, you kill him. Yeah. Yeah. I think as long as as long as you are constantly aware that I could die if I play this wrong. That, that kind of you know puts you the best foot forward uh, going up against Rob, but what a catch right there! Yeah, it, this is all. I mean, I mean, Atomic did come off from a pretty hot five game set here. Uh, I mean, Waltz just did just play Ray off stream too, but it's all Atomic oh here to my start God. out. You're not dead. You're not dead. You're not dead. Okay. Oh, get off me, bro! Udo reverse card coming in hot there. Yeah. He activated my trap card. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Foolish mortal. <laughs> yeah, he got, got mirror force there for sure. Yeah, great stuff right there. Waltz, you know, showing signs of life, even though down two stock, a, a whole stock, you know, and some change. Right now, is he gonna find something here? Gets the gets the kind of reset into the leaf shields. Great stuff. Oh, but the metal blade. You gotta be careful, right? Especially right in front of Rob, because he's just gonna fare you every time. Yeah, he's gonna pick. He's gonna pick up. The unfortunate part of like playing with item, playing with items against Rob is he's he's got so many uh, quick arrows that are so good at picking that, picking the item back up as. You know, so not only do you get punished, not only get the item taken from you, get bopped in the face for doing it. Yeah, and most robs are very good at item play too, because they have to be. Yeah. So, oh, oh, good wow. DI. The cross up, and he still DI that really well. Right. Great stuff. Oh, but the bear once again, one sniper right here could do it. You saw, yeah, you saw, you saw the fly swatter, right? Yep. Oh, red. It, it, typically they down smash there. He said, "No, I'm gonna scoop you up with the up, with, with the up smash and close it out." Pretty. I would say fairly convincing game one here from Atomic. Uh, we'll see if uh, we'll see if Waltz can kind of make the adjustments needed to, to reel this robot back in, or if we're going to see an all DFW top three. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, the hunt was real right there. He was going for it. Like you know, I, I you can run, but you, you know, you seen that old 2012 me. Hide your kids, hide your wife, and hide your husband. Yeah, they're, 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 you know, they're coming for everybody. Everybody. Out here. Everybody. You know, and he was ready. He was ready. He's like, you could. Pick whatever yeah. tech chase you want. I, I have seen iRobot enough times to know yeah, where this exactly, is going. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Nobody believed them. Nobody, Nobody believed them, man. Like, how do you not trust Will Smith? Well, well, yeah, I would have trusted Will Smith, man. Will Smith was like, bro, like, how robots are evil. That was like peak Will Smith too, right? You yeah. Know? This robot's a menace, guys, I swear. <laughs> That, it, it, like, it's a robotic operating buddy, but he is no friend of mine. He is not a buddy. Yeah. He, is, he is not a buddy. All enemy. Bro. Call him Rom, robot operating menace, man. Menace. I swear. But Going back to the other double flat stage here uh, for game number two. Um, you know, obviously, the slight change of senior can help out a lot. You, know, you can pick whatever song you like. You pick whatever so, song. I'm telling you, I always pick. Moonsiders first from Tekken, so I know I, I feel like I, I feel like I I, I, pick, I feel like I pick Kitsch a lot. Personally. Kitsch is a fantastic Kitsch is so song. Too. I mean the Tekken 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 OST never misses, man. 
Absolutely. You're a, a, I see you're a man of culture yeah, as well. Of course, you know? of course, of course. Insert the meme, you know. <laughs> but oh, oh good catch. Yeah, good catch on the arm rotor, even behind, and it's a vacuum. It's like it's like a black hole, you know, taking away everybody's hopes and dreams of you know getting through Rob. But so far, Walt's able to still outlast that just long enough to kind of keep the chase a little bit here. A smaller stage, right? You know, you're going to want to probably scrap a little bit more if you're Waltz. Mm -hmm. And he looks like he's perfectly content with that, even though he does have a deficit here. Yep. And it, 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 I think that's kind of what he's looking for. He's, he's looking to kind of get that shark, get that up air started, and then force, uh, force a panic option from Atomic Ooh. so he can finish it off there. Dunks him, and unfortunately, uh, you know, for Atomic there, gets caught by the Crash Bomber as well, so he can't keep the Pursuit on, has to has to put the shield up. Yeah, Atomic was a little low on gas as well. You know, it didn't touch the ground for a while, didn't stop at Bucky's, right, to kind of refuel a little bit, and Waltz was able to find that there, right? Understood that he couldn't stall on a ledge any longer, right? Yeah, yeah, so. you, you, have to, you have to recover eventually. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Doing a really good job, Waltz looking really good this game too, already. 177, getting a lot of mileage, and that's kind of what we're seeing. That's the name of the game against Atomic, right? If you're able to live, you know, through one, 20, 130, and able to just kind of keep nickeling and diming. You're eventually going to find this stock, but, you know, lots of damage, right? Good extra credit, good chip, you know, as my friend Blossom would say. Uh, Waltz is able to, you know, push through, but... But, yeah, Tommy just evens it up immediately. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so. But right now, oh, you know, was trying to wait for the trip, but didn't get it, right? Sometimes you buffer, like, you know, an extra one and, and you know, you can't react fast enough to readjust yeah, yeah, after it, the trip. It, so. It's always the time you, you decide to do, like, an extra down tilt that it does actually trip and you, you knock yourself out of it. Oh, that, my oh, goodness. That throw up on the with the Metal Blade was yeah. clutch. You, you were going to see a down air right there from Atomic. Still finds a stock regardless. And after the explosive start we saw from Waltz, right, Atomic has evened it back up, you know, taking the, taking the lead a little bit. Mm -hmm. Waltz able to keep him at bay. Sharks right underneath that laser, and the forward air is going to close it out. So no extra damage, extra credit for Atomic. Even game uh, on uh, our second contest here. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, nobody goes that far against Rob. People yeah. are, you know, people are wise to stay on stage and <laughs> just ledge trap him. So, uh, you know, Atomic maybe not expecting that. Waltz doing a really good job, kind of just resetting the situation and kind of taking a stock back yet again. And like you said, even Stevens, right, doing a really good job of keeping this set competitive, right. And that's good too. And that, that's such a good get. You know, those crash bomber lands are so huge and neutral for him because that uh, that either force either forces Atomic to back off, or it just allows Waltz to immediately close the gap. Uh, you know, so while it's not necessarily netting him any damage or anything, it, it's doing a lot for him to uh, put him in a position where he can start getting that juggle, start getting those up air because those up air changes are what really is going to get him uh, get him the victory here. Yeah, great stuff for sure. You know, right now. Atomic is doing a really good job of kind of finding these approach options from Waltz. And every time that Waltz wants to approach, Atomic has been hitting him with a get off me tool and slowly been chipping away. And we're at kill percents now. So Waltz, you have to be really careful here. Gonna have to go for something big. Maybe put Robin disadvantage and go for maybe like an early back air off stage or something to kind of get this stock and get this game right now. But Atomic looking to not even oh, let that happen. And yeah, that'll do it. Finds an up air right there to take game two. Atomic with another 2 0 lead. Yeah, so we'll see, you know, Renegade was able to adjust, but wasn't able, to, but unfortunately wasn't able to close the deal. We'll see how Waltz handles be, uh, with his back against the wall this time around. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you know, back against the wall. Waltz, you know, one of the few men in Texas who rarely do have their back against the wall. And when you do, you know, you kind of see what he's made of. And he, you know, one, he's made out of metal. Yeah. Two, and two, you know, he's also made up of human. Humans have a heart. Yeah. And that's why Waltz does so well. The man... The grit and it's the grind. Hard. That man was traveling from Houston to Austin, Houston to Austin, back and forth, back and forth. I would see him at an elite local, and then I would see him at like Cityscape. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He got, yeah, exactly. He, this man, this man, this man has put the miles in. Absolutely, uh, far, far and away. Season veteran for sure, and that's why he's this far into the bracket for sure. But you know, Atomic, the new blood again. You know, the new model. Yeah, and you know, Walt's opting. You know, he's got his music counterfeit going right, right now. Yeah. Our, Maybe the music counter. Maybe maybe you need to maybe you need a gameplay counterpick. <laughs> I'm well, not gonna lie to you, if man. It you in the, if it puts you in the mindset, you know, you, if it, it works, it works. If you, know? you if you're like I am Joker from Persona Five, you know, whatever works for you, man. Whatever whatever gets the gets a neutral win. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And right now, though, again, kind of just scrapping. You know, Atomic is also. I mean, we saw him scrapping with Renegade a lot, mm -hmm. so you know he's like okay with this. Yeah, you know he's, I mean? he's been doing a great job. Uh, he's been Beyblading it up. I mean, he did 30 damage alone just off of chucking the 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 gyro at 
waltz for that, that interaction on the side there, and now 160%, where do you go? Such good coverage with a down smash. Yeah, I love Atomic's like pressure, you know, the options that he picks to kind of pressure waltz. He, he went from sort of a mid to mid high, you know, uh, laser to force the rush up B, and then maybe try to catch the landing, right? Caught the down smash, but unfortunately was on the other side, so waltz still lives, but if not, that would that would have been dead like, you know, 30% ago. Yeah. So far, let's trap situation right here, though. Kind of puts him in a situation where Atomic is in shield. Gets the pellets, though, chipping away at this damage. Rage Mega Man. One bad landing or something like that. Maybe a Shoryuken from Waltz. And oh. I am a prophet. I am a prophet. Kid Stradamus strikes again. Oh, my God, guys. Hire me. Hire me. <laughs> Palm Reader. I got you, bro. But, you know. I get you a deck of tarot cards. We'll, yeah, we'll do a reading right now. You want me to read your future, guys? Absolutely. You know, <laughs> hit me up at twitch.tv forward slash SSB Kid. All right. Uh, you know. Atomic though, bringing it right back. Yeah, even yeah, even even as even can get now. Um, Atomic obviously getting his, his nice little zero zero to forty off the gate with a couple of normals. We'll see what Waltz can do to kind of tend it back in. But that's the important part. He doesn't want, I don't think he wants to let uh, Atomic get too far ahead. You know, you can you can eat the damage. You can you can be behind percent for a little bit. But as long as you're just not not giving up that massive gap and you gotta okay good discipline didn't didn't press a button while trapped in the up air you gotta not jump and even if you don't jump but still press a button up there sometimes i heard watch your thing and you just die yeah you, right? just, you just explode so you gotta be careful yeah definitely you know waltz uh i mean atomic understanding that right and you know still alive even though waltz was you know putting up some early pressure potentially giving us a little bit of a scare especially the atomic fans right didn't want to see him kind of you know go out that early right. on that second stock so but again nice and competitive and again the crash Bomber providing a situation in which he's able to recover freely and, you know, more pressure, right? The Crash Bombers, we haven't uh, seen them that much. Yeah, great use of the back there right there to kind of, you know, take that stock. But we haven't we haven't seen Crash Bomber for Waltz too much. And especially this game, though, we're kind of seeing them a lot more now to kind of get back to stage, get some reverse opportunities, and, you know. But so far, Atomic has kind of proven to, you know, to still kind of be able to outlast that. <laughs> Yeah, now at 110%, this is, kind of, this, this is kind of an awkward percent, right? You still, like, Waltz is going to have to do quite a bit to get in there. And the trip sends him off the stage. But again, <laughs> he's just shuffling, just sweeping the leg as Atomic for this last stock. Yeah, great stuff. Again, pressuring with the up airs right here, using the resources, right? That's actually really smart, too. You kind of want to use the resources right there. You expend the resources uh, if your Waltz make Atomic, you know, waste a lot of miles, right? City miles. On, the, on that tank. Right, and at, at 125, man, man, it's still, it's, you know, forward air, back air might not even kill at these percents, right? You still gotta try so hard. And, oh, now hold on. Opening, perhaps. Uh, good navigation by Atomic. Uh, yeah, he's been hit by uh, down, down air a couple times, and. Yeah. Oh. A little, a little, I mean, well, uh, you, you run out of options. Like, you have to get this stock, right? Like, you're gonna have to do something kind of kind of committal to get it, but uh, Atomic being in the driver's seat, they're able to respond appropriately. 3 0. Yeah. And we are all DFW from here on out.